Okay guys, we're gonna attempt to catch this Palomino. He's right there. Let's see what he got. Can we get him? Not that time. Let's try again. Oh, right in front of him. No movement. See it? You doing any motion? No, not yet. Not like that. No, he's moving now. I just saw some motion out of him now. Okay. Yeah, so. Where is your thing? I see him. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Oh, Rico about to get the bite. It's the fishing challenge. Ty and Rico, who will get the Palomino? This is for the CEO position. Seems like he liked yours more than mine. Right? It's behind him. Not good. Caesar, get back! Got him. Ooh, and Ty with the Palomino catch. And he is the CEO, not Rico. Ty the CEO. Ty the CEO, thank you, private. Thank you, sit down. Oh, that's how you do it, guys. Is the, oh, he's going under the bush. Oh, uh, today we might do a, a Palomino catch and cook. Look at this, guys. Look at this beauty. Don't lose him, Rico. Grab him by the tail. Let go. You gotta snap the line. Let go. Man. I'll land him. Great. Now he's under some twig. He's not. Here, give me the pole. Yeah, go. He's really Don't pull too hard. I got you got the stringer? Where's my stringer? Where's it? Alright. This is a good 16 inch. How many? 16. And later, we're gonna do a, a catch and cook later with this Palomino trout I just caught. But now we're gonna put them in the stringer. How you think it'll taste, Caesar? Like a regular trout or a little different? It'll taste like regular trout. Ain't nothing special with that. Let's find out. Chop this wood. This burns too fast. Like cold wood. Chop it this way. Oh, last night. Show you guys how to make the fire with the. If you're stuck in the woods or whatever. First, you gotta get some ember. Just 
out. We gotta get some uh, magnesium off this flint stick. So we'll go ahead and do that. This might take a while, but it'll be I'll worth it. Later. So here's the magnesium pieces. Now we just give it a spark. Pot was too big. All right, so um, Caesar's getting ready to season them. Hey, that's mad salt, homie. You gotta make sure there's lots of salt on there. You sure? Yeah. Rinse that off. What? Rinse what off? Oh, this. Go, twist it. Is that lemon pepper? No, this garlic powder. This is pepper. Okay, so um, got the trout cooking, nice and sizzly. Mmm, it smells so good. What you think, Caesar? This is the uh, palomino we caught earlier. Let's see how it tastes in a bit. All right, guys. So we're gonna flip this. I'm gonna try it. Go, Caesar. That's the side you said I messed up? Huh? I don't think. Go. Go. Then, look, 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 look. Huh? Look, look. Try to do what piece is down here. Too hot? No, it's bad. You good? Mm -hmm. Taste it. I'ma taste it. You watch me. Alright? Hold this. Touch the back, you can see what you're doing. What's up, guys? This is the uh, Fish and Steak CEO, Ty, mm -hmm. not Rico. So come come over here, sis. Why are you going to eat this part? It's nice and crispy. Right? Mm hmm. Tastes mad good. Good, right? Yeah. So big, Amy. Really? Uh, the texture is really good. The, this fish is a little bigger, so it's, it has a little gamey taste to it. Watch out for that piece of bone, Caesar. But usually when you eat trout, like you eat the smaller fish, the smaller fish tastes better, right? Now, is there a difference between this and, say, rainbow trout or maybe uh, brown trout? A little bit. If you were to do a blind taste test, would you be able to tell the difference? Of course. You would? Mm hmm Hmm. Maybe they are a little special. <laughs> Come on, right off the bone. Look at that. <clears throat> we got a nice little piece right here.
contains a bunch of garlic.